Hello again. Uh, I'm going to do another uh, timing reading on the 21.5 R1 Works. Are you ready for some timing action? Here we go. Uh, actually, before I start, I just want to show you the timing is set at zero. Okay. Here we go. All right. So this is uh, the first gen. R1 works. This isn't like the current one. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but uh, like I said uh, with the Tekken video, I'm going to go up uh, 10 degree increments on the can. So this will help you out with um, tuning your motor for the track. Alright, so we got an average of 37 degrees. Now we're going to go up to 10 degrees on the can. Okay, and here we go. So now this is 10 degrees on the can. Now, I race one 12 scale, two cell. Here in Japan, and uh, I use the R1 Works motor in, uh, for outdoors on a short track, and I find the timing setting of um, 20 degrees works really nicely. So an average of 47 degrees right there. So now let's move her up to 20 degrees, and this is what I run. I can get it set right. All right, there we go. There we go. So this is 20 degrees on the cab. I think the highest I'll go is 30 or 40. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Right, so 54 degrees on the can. Now let's go up to 30. Okay, so here's 30. Let's go. Okay, and we'll go up to 40. Let's see what that number yields. Probably a pretty dangerous set amount of timing. I bet you it will say out, which means it's over the maximum timing range, which with motor analyzer, I think it's 70 degrees it will read up to. What will it say? I say two outs. Yes, I was right. So, oh, one out. There you go. So, when you hit uh, 40 degrees timing, uh, I highly suggest not doing that. Okay, bye bye.